cars behind me so we can come into here. Let's pull her up here, call it quits, indicators out. If I put the slide stand down, it'll cut out straight away. There you go. Turn her off. Then the alarm will set. Okay guys, we'll do a few specs on the bike. So once again, uh, this bike weighs in 185 kilos. It's got 15 inch front wheel, 14 inch rear. The uh, seat height I think is 820. And it holds about uh, 11, 11 half litres of fuel, something to that effect. One thing I've found so far, there've been reports that the seat isn't really that comfortable. I find the, the seat pretty good to uh, ride on. I've got no problems with it. I rode out here about 50 or 60 kilometres and the seat to me was fine on the ride out, nice and comfortable. And as far as things go, uh, not too sure on the fuel economy, but it's working all right at the moment and uh, we'll see what happens in that line. I'll get, give you an idea then. Right now I've got the uh, windscreen on the lower setting and on the lower setting it's not as efficient as what it is when I ride normally on high. And when you're running on height, that's a really good job. Cuts out the wind, and it's a pleasure to be on the bike. So I think if you want that real motorcycle experience, well, just ride it on low, and you'll get the wind blowing right at you. And uh, I've had plenty of years riding it like that, so I don't mind the idea of the screen at the moment. So your headlights and tail lights and all that, they're, well, they're all LEDs. So, uh, you know, everything goes there. Tell you what, but it gets a, uh, won't we get rid of this, I don't know where to put it, but yeah. So when you look at it, it's got a fairly pretty profile here with the blue and white paintwork, or they class it as white, and then the other colour they class as uh, just a uh, graphite grey or something to that effect. The fit and finish of the bike is really nice. It's got a uh, really big under seat storage area. So if I want to get to the seat side, I just turn it over to here. So, like so, press seat. Have a look underneath. Look at that, the wife give me a pack of the biscuits to take with me, a drink if I want one. But I've got plenty of room there for later on if I want to bring the drone with me one time. Actually, that drone would fit in there quite easy, so that's good. Yeah, so uh, overall, you've just seen it there. So if I get here like this and turn the bike on. Okay, we got her on. Now, pulled up, for example, got off the bike. If I come over this way, you'll see it set the alarm. And there it goes now. So now we can steal it. And, uh, you know, that's on a keyless type fob with this bike. And in Australia, you get two keys with it. Naturally, because they charge you so much for the bike, they give you two keys. But two keys are a lot better. I think over in some parts of the world, they only give you one, but they don't pay as much for the bike as what we do. So I suppose that's another reason there. I found the suspension on the run out here today pretty good. Like, it runs over the little bumps and things like that. With, with no drama, like a few people think the suspension's not much good on these, but I think if you've been on some of the bikes I've been on, you would say the suspension is, you know, reasonable. Not the best probably you'd get, but it's a lot better than some of the bikes I've paid for around the same price with fairly crappy suspensions. So, you know, like long term, I may upgrade and go to a better shocks at the back, but that'll, I'll see what happens then. At this stage, you know, I've got no, no big hurry to go out and do that. What I can say, it cruises very easy at 100, and it's just loping along. It's really a pleasure to drive, or ride. So there's no drama that way, as uh, the uh, seat and position is really comfortable. The wind protection is good, not only for your head, sort of with the screen on high, but when you're sitting back here, you get good protection on your legs and that too. You don't get it. I also noticed for the first time today was riding out here when it was very windy. Normally you'd come out even with gloves on, on a day like this, and your hands would be cold. But these big mirrors at the side block a fair bit of the wind that would actually hit straight onto your hands here on the grips. So overall, you know, that's pretty good. So far I haven't had it out at night time to try what the LED headlight, tail light, indicators, all that sort of side is like, but I may get around to it later on. I think another good thing with this scooter is it's got tubeless tyres. So uh, that's something to do. Yeah, yeah, that's something that's really worth your trouble because there's nothing worse than if you get out there and you've got to go with something with do a repair and you've got tubes and stuff like that. 
but uh, what I am surprised about when I was out here, it was so windy on the way out, that you listen now, it's virtually dead quiet. So there you go there, it's hard to believe like how quiet it is there now. But uh, apart from that, there's not a great more I can tell you about this little vehicle at the moment because what I am finding, it's a really nice little one to ride and I've got no regrets about buying it and I think I'll be able to put up quite a few kilometres when the time comes because this one he cruises that easy at 100 and I've got that much power left in reserve that, you know, it'll go anywhere I want to go and it'll go there really well. So, like, I'm really impressed. Like, I wouldn't think once I'd say anything good about a scooter but I've certainly changed my tune and I think other people will also change their tune if they get on and ride one. So I'm pretty happy I went for the Forza, so uh, especially in the 350. I'm fairly happy I upgraded to, from the PCX 160 to the 350 Forza, even though I still say the PCX was a more smoother bike to ride. This one's got the power, and when it comes to the crunch, it's very hard to beat power because power will get you up all the hills around here I want with no trouble whatsoever, where the other one was a really good, nice, smooth ride, the PCX 160 but it lacked power on the hills. Like, it's a good round town bike, but where I am, I want something I can get out there, and later on we'll be going up a couple of those hills I'll tell you about, and uh, I'll just show you, this is a hill which has trouble with some of the bikes I've been on getting up, and we'll see how it pulls that one, one in particular, back up the road around about 10 miles, 15 k's. So apart from that, that's about all I can tell you on this one. Once again, what a beautiful profile this bike sets. Like, you couldn't get here and say, well, I wouldn't get on that heap of crap because uh, it's a pretty good looking bike. So I think looking at it that way, uh, we'll see how things go on that line. And I'm always surprised when I pull up, you don't see anyone at all. And then you see a lot of people come along the road and, and things like that. And uh, it becomes a lot busier than I did. But anyway, we'll get back onto the bike, load her up and head back. I think it's had a good 10 minutes rest here now. So the motor should have dropped a few temps and a bit in temperature and I can get back and zoom her back home now and uh, before I go I might have a look in this creek. Once upon a time, and it wasn't that long ago for a once upon a time story, uh, this creek was totally dry, not a bit of water in it and now look at this. Now you mightn't even think uh, it's only a little creek I was here back, I don't know, six months back or something like that, looking in here, and that would be about, in the old scale, that would be a good eight foot deep down there. So uh, it's a really deep hole, this one. Once there were good fish in this hole, but when it's dried out last year for the first time, I ever see it dry out in my life, coming past here and stopping. Um, all fish would be dead for sure, like uh, those days were gone, but the only thing would be left here would be crayfish and they've got a habit of burying deep into the creek beds and then when things improve and it rains again, they come back out and carry on, but all the fish in these creeks, well, they were all wiped out. But anyway, let's get back on the bike and head off. Okay, guys, it's time to head back. We'll just put the screen back up. All good. I think I'll go for the more relaxed ride. Check this. Eight cars coming. All right, let's ride.